Well, hello guys. It's Donna again from Flavors with a Twist. And how are my Flavor Twisters doing today? I hope you are doing well. What we're going to do today, Flavor Twisters, we are going to make some Parmesan crusted chicken breasts. And they are going to be so good, guys. You're going to really love this recipe. What I have in front of me, I have some panko breadcrumbs. I have some Parmesan cheese, some olive oil, some garlic powder. I have some black pepper and some kosher salt. Now in this cup, I have two cups of um, measuring cup. I have two cups of the um, panko breadcrumbs. I have one cup and a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. I have a tablespoon of garlic powder, tablespoon of black pepper, and a tablespoon of kosher salt. And I have some butter here. Now, down here in these containers, I have some flour right here. I have three eggs. And I also have a container over here that we're going to put the um, bread crumbs in and we're going to put the grated Parmesan cheese. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour the bread crumbs in this container. And I'm going to pour in the Parmesan cheese. Okay. Now what we're going to do is stir this around, mix it around. Let's give this a mix. Mix it up real well just to blend the breadcrumbs and the Parmesan cheese together. Okay guys, and now I'm going to show you what we're going to do with these chicken breasts. But before we do our chicken breast, prepare our chicken breast, we are going to season our flour, put in the garlic powder, the black pepper. Okay, come out of there, pepper. Oh, it came out. <laughs> and we have our salt. So we're gonna mix this up. Okay. Stir it up real well. And this is only two cups of flour in here. Okay. Now we'll set this to the side. And also, we're going to beat our eggs. Let's get these all beat up. So I have three eggs in here. I just want to make sure that I have enough eggs to dip the chicken in. Okay. Here we go. Okay, that looks good. Now we'll set that to the side. Now what I have here, guys, I have four chicken breasts. Well, this was one big whole breast and they cut it. But they're kind of thick to me. So what we're going to do, we're going to thin these out a little bit. Hold tight. Okay, guys, I put down a piece of plastic wrap. And I have another piece. And I'm, I have this, so we're going to flatten our chicken breasts out. And what I usually do, I just take my rolling pin and I just pound it a little. You just want to, like that thick part, you want to flatten that down some. And that way you'll get a nice thin cutlet of the chicken breast. Because the thinner they are, the quicker they cook. Set. I think that's good. Okay. So what I'm going to do, guys... I'm going to beat the rest of the chicken breasts, flatten them down, and then we'll get started. Okay, guys, we have our chicken breasts all pounded out. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper on them. Okay, the salt and pepper. 
and you see how nice and flat they are. Um, they're bigger than what they were. You want to get that lump out of them, you know, because it takes longer for them to cook when you don't. So when I make this recipe, I always pound my chicken breast. And also, guys, I washed the chicken breasts real good and had patted them dry. I forgot to tell you guys that, but you know what? When it comes to cooking and stuff, I just assume that y'all know to wash your meat before you use it. And sometimes I do forget to tell you. I don't like to beat people over the head with it, but that's just a process. Always wash your meat before you cook them. Now... Here we go, flip this over on each side and I'm going to salt and pepper the other side. And guys, what I'm going to also do, I'm going to take a little bit of milk, about two tablespoons of milk, and pour it in the egg mixture. That way it won't be too eggy, it'll be loose enough. There we go. Okay. Now let's get this chicken coated. All righty. Okay, guys, let's get started. So what we're going to do is take a chicken breast and we are going to put it in the flour. Okay, like that. Get it well coated. Okay. And then we are going to dip it in the egg. Okay, where is my tongs? Here we go. Just flip it over. Get it well coated in the egg. Okay, and then what we're going to do, let some of the egg, the excess egg drip off. And we're going to put it in our breadcrumbs. Okay, now the breadcrumbs, we'll put it over like this, and press it and make it get nice and coated with the breadcrumbs and that Parmesan cheese, and that's what you want. Let me see if you can see this. Here we go. Mash it down. Look at that, guys. Mmm, yum. Here we go. So that's how we're going to coat these. So now you see what I did. We're going to get the rest of these coated and we're going to fry these off. Okay, looking good. Take off the excess, put it back on the pan. Now, I'm gonna do one more for you. We have the um, flour. And remember, we seasoned the flour. I can smell that garlic powder and everything in here. Okay. Now, we dip it in the egg again. And then we'll put it back in the breadcrumbs. And you can smell that Parmesan cheese, guys, and those breadcrumbs. And panko, it makes things so nice and crispy. I don't like to use other breadcrumbs but panko, especially when I'm frying. Okay. So now we have that doused in the egg better. <laughs> I said nice doused. Get it together, Donna. You'll get to talking correctly sooner or later. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is bread this one, coat it just like the other one. Just get in there, guys. Press it down. Do what you have to do, but get this baby coated. Okay, so I'm going to do the other two. And like I said, we'll get these fried off. Be right back. Okay, guys. Now what I'm going to do is take the olive oil 
Okay. Now, and what I'm going to do, you know me guys and my butter, I'm going to put about a tablespoon of butter in there. There we go. So we're gonna let this get hot and we're gonna put our chicken in. We just wanna melt the butter and the olive oil together. And then we'll put our chicken in once it gets hot enough. But you don't want it too hot because you don't want your chicken to brown too quickly. Okay. You want just enough oil in your pan to come part way up the chicken, not over it. Okay, let that finish. It's almost there. Then we'll put in our chicken. Okay guys, you see how the oil is sizzling? So now, what I'm gonna do is lay our chicken breasts in there. These are pretty nice size too, guys. Let me see if I can get you up here. Okay. And it's like on a medium high. And I just want them to get lightly golden brown. And then we'll take them and flip them. Oh guys, this smells so good already, but I just want them to get light brown. You want a nice, pretty golden brown on your chicken. And it's looking pretty good there. I'm going to flip these because what we're going to do, guys, after we lightly brown these, we are going to put them in the oven at 325 degrees. And we're going to let them cook for about 20 minutes after that. Look how pretty these look, guys. Mmm, yum. That's how you want them. Because a lot of times when you, anytime you dip like um, meat in an egg mixture and you use breadcrumbs, they have a tendency to brown very quickly. So you don't want them to get all burn up looking you want them nice and golden and then they'll finish in the oven also okay look at this guys see how beautiful they look so what I'm going to do is take these out and I'm going to put the other two in and then we'll bake them okay guys you see the first two chicken breasts over there on the baking sheet and I have the other two down here in the skillet. So once these get brown on both sides, we're going to bake some. Okay guys, our chicken breasts are nice and golden brown. Don't they look beautiful guys? So what I'm going to do now, and I decided I'm not going to bake them at 325. I'm going to bake them at 300 for about 20 minutes. So, I'll eyeball it and see um, after 20 minutes if they're okay. But I'll let you know exactly um, how much time it took to cook these. Because my oven gets pretty hot and I said I don't want to rush them. I want them to get nice and tender inside. So, I'm going to put them in now and like I said, at 300 degrees for about 20 minutes. Well, hi guys, I'm back. And what I did, I left our chicken in there exactly 25 minutes. I just wanted to make sure that it was fully cooked all the way through. So what I'm going to do now is plate this up and we'll see how it tastes. Okay guys, I have some fresh parsley here and we're just going to sprinkle some on and make it look pretty. Here we go. Okay, now let's give this a taste guys. See how it tastes. Okay. Let me cut off the end down here. And we'll see how nice and juicy it is. Oh my goodness, you see how that cut? Look at that, guys. Oh my. Let me put it over here. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's so tender. Let me give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 
guys, the chicken breast is juicy inside. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. And that crust is perfect. And this is the bottom of it. You see, it still didn't get too brown. That's why I say cookie golden brown. And um, then when you put it in the oven for 20, 25 minutes, it comes out perfect. Oh my goodness. Guys, that crust is so good. That Parmesan cheese. Oh, you have to make this for your family, guys. This recipe is the bomb. Mm, mm, mm. I can't quit eating this. Oh, wow. Mm. So, this is flavors with a twist. Parmesan crusted chicken breast. Make this for your family, guys. And you can serve it with any side you want. I'm trying to decide what I want to fix with this. Or you know what? You could put a bun on this. <laughs> put this on a bun and make a sandwich out of it. It's so good. So, go to flavorswithatwist.com. YouTubers like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted of all the recipes that I upload. So, this is Donna from Flavors with a Twist. Bye.